next one um, let's look at working planes or working grids so um, if you're inside studio max you can switch auto grid on and make a cylinder for instance and it will stick on top of an item so I want to do a similar thing um, but inside modo so what I'm going to do now is get my chamfered box select a polygon and go working plane <coughs> Uh, align work plane to selection. So now I get a working plane on that selection. Okay, uh, I can get rid of this and uh, go to items. Okay, so there's my working plane. So now I can go and create a box. Let's get the radius to zero. And we should be able to go geometry, new mesh item, click and drag here and uh, let's just rotate around a little bit there we go so now we can have that exactly where we want it which is always useful so that new item is um, let's uh, pull you over to there and pull you over to there sounds good and groovy that's about right okay and then hit the space bar. So we've now got a new mesh item there. And that is that really. So that's how to do working planes. So you can align things to various other things. Um, yeah, and we can go and reset the working plane as well. So we've got to reset it now. So what we want to do now is we'll call this window screen. Uh, window screen. And we're going to put you inside here as well. Okay, so again, W key, everything moves along with it, which is what we want. I mean, you can make these uh, these little handles, make them bigger and smaller with the plus and minus arrow keys, which is exactly the same as Studio Max, so dead simple, a bit like me. And that is that, so that's just working plane. Again, you can make it so anywhere your working plane is, so if I'm selecting a... Uh, this wheel maybe let's go and select that wheel okay and then go to polygons select that polygon I can then go working plane is going to be line working plane to selection so then I can um, get out of item mode go to geometry new mesh item make a cylinder there we go and that will then click and drag in that way Okay, so that comes out exactly where that working plane is. Can you see how working planes work now? Yeah, and that is as simple as that. So quite useful, um, like very useful actually. And there you go. So any selection you can go and create a working plane to. Simple as that. Um, yeah, there you go. And that will do that. And this is a new object. We don't actually want that one. So let's go and uh, one drop the tool and then delete it, we don't need it there we go and we can reset our working plane that's it, so that was working planes, how exciting uh, next one